Rebecca Traster, Good and Mad, The Revolutionary Power of Women's Anger. Embark on a journey through the rise, fall, and resurgence of feminist political anger as explored in Rebecca Traster's Good and Mad, The Revolutionary Power of Women's Anger. From the feminist movements of the 1960s and 1970s to the hibernation period during the Reagan Revolution, to the reawakening spurred by the cases of Anita Hill and later the hashtag MeToo movement, this book summary delves into the reasons for the disappearance and re-emergence of feminist anger. Discover the forces that shape the dynamics of this powerful emotion and learn how its suppression within society serves to stifle the political power it can generate. Feminist Anger Through Decades The feminist political anger in the United States saw its peak during the 1960s and 1970s. The era witnessed widespread protests for equal rights, fighting racial injustice, and opposing the Vietnam War. Feminists donned outrageous outfits and engaged in radical activism such as civil disobedience, like the creation of the Jane Collective in Chicago. These actions propelled advancements like the legalization of birth control and abortion, fairer divorce laws, and recognition of sexual harassment as discrimination. Unfortunately, the Reagan revolution in the 1980s led to a backlash against these gains, portraying career-focused women as devils in popular culture while restricting abortion access and slashing social support for vulnerable women. This forced feminist political anger into hibernation until its resurgence in 2017. Feminist Anger Rekindled Feminist political anger had subsided since the 1980s, only briefly returning in the early 1990s with the sexual harassment allegations brought by Anita Hill against Clarence Thomas. Despite the surge of women running for political office that followed, the number of female politicians soon returned to previous levels. Feminism continued to evolve during this time, attempting to distance itself from negative connotations and striving to make the movement more inclusive and appealing. However, the 2016 presidential election reawakened feminist political anger as many women were disillusioned with the result and the continuing fight for gender equality. Feminist political anger had been notably subdued from the 1980s until 2017, only briefly re-emerging in 1991 when law professor Anita Hill testified against Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas on allegations of sexual harassment. Many women saw Hill's alleged mistreatment by the all-male Senate Judiciary Committee as a glaring example of inequality, resulting in a record number of women running for and successfully winning political office in 1992. However, this resurgence of political involvement from women soon dwindled, and feminist political anger once again retreated to the background. Feminism's evolution during this period focused on distancing itself from the negative stereotypes associated with the term feminist, such as craziness or unattractiveness. As a result, the movement attempted to make feminism appear more inclusive, welcoming, and appealing, often infused with a sense of humor and irony that reassured non-feminists rather than challenging them. By 2016, Progress towards gender equality seemingly abounded with Hillary Clinton expected to become the first female president, and women outnumbering men in higher education institutions. However, the presidential election outcome served as a rude awakening for women everywhere, reigniting the feminist political anger which had been dormant for so long. As the demands for gender equality continue, the revival of this fury can only bolster the push for change, highlighting the need for more female representation in the world of politics and beyond. Resurgence of Feminist Rage Following the unexpected election of President Trump, feminist political anger experienced a resurgence with two notable events, the Women's March and the hashtag MeToo movement. On January 21, 2017, the Women's March became the largest single-day protest in U.S. history, demonstrating the palpable anger of over 4 million women across the nation. The hashtag MeToo movement further expressed this frustration by spotlighting the widespread issue of male-perpetrated sexual harassment and assault. As more women shared their harrowing experiences, the collective rage grew even stronger. This outrage manifested in ways reminiscent of the 1970s activism 
like the circulation of the shitty media men list highlighting alleged harassers in the media industry. While feminism had always been present, this renewed anger blurred the line between simmering and boiling. The question remains, what caused this emotional shift and the brewing of this storm of fury? Feminist anger and political change Feminist political anger stems from the multitude of injustices that women face in society, such as sexual harassment, domestic abuse, income inequality, and workplace discrimination, among others. Women expend immense energy combating these issues, detracting from their potential to pursue personal goals and projects. Furthermore, society often suppresses women's anger, stifling their political power and hindering their ability to drive meaningful change. The significance of political anger is evident in historical events like the American Revolution, further underscoring the importance of embracing anger to enact progress. To comprehend the rise of feminist political anger leading up to the 2016 U.S. presidential election, we must first examine its sources. Feminist political anger arises from a variety of injustices women experience, including sexual harassment, domestic violence, wage disparities, underrepresentation in leadership roles, gender biases, and unfair allocation of household tasks, among others. Each of these grievances on their own is exasperating from a feminist standpoint, and the repercussions only intensify the frustration. For instance, harassment not only victimizes women but also forces them to expend time and energy evading harassers and potentially unsafe situations. This also applies to challenging gender biases, double standards, and unequal domestic work expectations. These efforts take away from women's capacity to focus on their personal passions, goals, and professional aspirations, essentially stealing their time to battle issues they shouldn't have to face. Understandably, many women are incensed by the gender-based injustices deeply ingrained in American society. However, society often perpetuates an additional injustice by stifling women's anger, dictating that they cannot express their fury as openly as men. In doing so, society suppresses women's political power, political anger serves as an impetus for political transformation. The essential role of political anger is evident throughout history, as seen in the American Revolution, exemplified by the passionately enraged revolutionaries in the Boston Tea Party. By recognizing and harnessing the power of feminist political anger, a catalyst for change can be ignited, driving meaningful advancements in gender equality. Unleashing Feminist Anger Confronting and dismantling society's sexist expectations of women's emotions is crucial in allowing feminist political anger to flourish. For years, this anger has been suppressed largely due to the fear of being labeled an angry woman, which often results in being deemed unnatural, monstrous, or unattractive. This stereotype is further perpetuated by the pressure on women to be charming and pleasant, reinforcing the unfair demand for their role as mere adornments to the world of men. Challenging these associations and assumptions is key to unleashing and empowering women's anger. Suppressing anger only increases its intensity, as experienced by many women who harbor feminist political anger. This anger reached its boiling point in the years leading up to 2017, as women continuously held back their emotions to avoid the scornful label of being an angry woman in a society wrought with sexist notions. In the eyes of society, women should embody sweetness, agreeableness, and pleasantness, leaving no room for emotions like anger that break this stereotype. This constraint places more value on a woman's appearance by deeming them unattractive or unnatural when displaying outward rage or frustration. The cultural training enforcing this connection between anger and unattractiveness in women can further be observed through powerful female figures such as Nancy Pelosi and Elizabeth Warren. Portraying women with anger on their faces in photographs seeks to belittle them due to society's expectations of female behavior and demeanor. These expectations force women into a matrix of contradictory expectations, revealing two underlying sexist assumptions. Firstly, women must be friendly to be considered attractive, with phrases like, you should smile more, translating to a suppression of negative emotions in favor of agreeableness. Secondly, this concept perpetuates the notion that a woman's primary purpose is to be attractive, reducing her to a mere decoration in a man's world. 
Addressing these cultural and psychological blocks is vital to empower women's anger and create an environment where feminist political anger can break free from societal constraints and silence these damaging and unrealistic expectations. The Lure of Embracing Patriarchy Women often find themselves entangled in the complex webs of patriarchy, from family dynamics to political affiliations. By tolerating the misbehavior of men within their family circles, husbands, brothers, sons, and fathers, they inadvertently preserve their relationships and personal interests. This act, however, can cause major conflicts and is often motivated by economic dependence. The preservation of patriarchy grants women certain rewards, such as romantic attention, economic security, and career advancements. Reinforcing this idea, a 2017 study observed that marital status dictated white women's support in the 2016 U.S. election, with married and widowed women showing the highest support for Donald Trump, the Republican candidate championing patriarchal values. Patriarchy's Grip on Women's Success Unfortunate societal realities sometimes force women into complicity with patriarchal structures in order to reap their benefits. Female success in male-dominated industries often hinges on maintaining alliances with powerful men, even if it means overlooking or defending against accusations of sexual harassment, as witnessed during the hashtag MeToo movement. This unequal distribution of progress in the fight for gender equality further deepens the class divide among women, with wealthier and more influential women experiencing greater advancement than their less privileged counterparts. Ultimately, these schisms among women perpetuate and reinforce patriarchal power, as women's frustrations and anger are misdirected towards each other rather than the underlying issue. The struggle for gender equality is not without its complications, particularly when women find themselves at the mercy of patriarchal systems. The allure of better opportunities, wealth, and influence often drives women to align with powerful white men, allowing them access to higher education, housing, and career options. This urge to stay afloat in male-dominated industries can lead to women tolerating, covering up, or even defending men accused of sexual harassment and assault, effectively undermining the progress of women as a whole. While the hashtag MeToo movement has made strides in exposing and condemning sexual misconduct, the positive change it has brought has not been equitably distributed among women. The stories garnering the most attention and impact typically involve high-profile white women in the entertainment and political sectors, leaving the voices of those in less glamorized industries unheard. As a result, women from lower socioeconomic backgrounds face roadblocks in achieving equality, further segregating women into disparate classes. This division among women plays directly into the hands of patriarchy, as it suppresses collective outrage and redirects it towards one another, allowing the oppressive force to persist relatively unscathed. By being aware of such manipulations, it becomes crucial for those advocating for a more equal society to ensure that all voices are acknowledged and progress is shared broadly in order to bring about lasting change for women everywhere. Divisions Among Women the 2016 presidential election exemplified how women can direct their anger towards one another, with both older and younger generations clashing over the competing ideologies of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. This divide was similarly observed during the rise of the hashtag MeToo movement, as more conservative and established women clashed with radical activists. Such conflicts reveal that women, much like any other social groups, are not monolithic in their thinking and remain divided due to differing ideals. The 2016 election provided an important example of how women's anger can be targeted towards one another. As the Democratic presidential nominee, Hillary Clinton faced intense criticism not only from the political right but also from more leftist-leaning individuals. Many Democrats and leftists, including young women, viewed Clinton as a compromised, pro-capitalist, corporate feminist and opted to support her opponent, Bernie Sanders. This led some of Clinton's supporters, often older women, to label these young women as naive and easily led astray, regurgitating old sexist stereotypes in the process. In presenting this disagreement as a generational conflict, the media perpetuated a division among women that would later appear during the rise of the hashtag MeToo movement. As the movement gained momentum, some older women took issue with what they perceived as its excessive scope. 
However, an alternative perspective suggests that the divide stems from more conservative-leaning, powerful women, those with established media platforms, clashing with more radical voices within the movement. It is important to recognize that these high-profile women tended to be older simply due to the time it takes to achieve prominence. Both the rift between female supporters of Clinton and Sanders, and the discord within the hashtag MeToo movement, demonstrate that women are not a monolithic group. Differing ideologies, life experiences, and levels of power lead to divisions within the demographic, as women, like all individuals, hold diverse perspectives and opinions. Awakening Feminist Fury The widespread emergence of feminist political anger in recent years was fueled by women's growing realization that the power structures in society were rigged against them. This anger had been simmering for a long time, but the election of President Trump, coupled with the revelations of the hashtag MeToo movement, ignited this fury into a full-blown movement. Women recognized that despite conforming to the societal expectations and playing by the rules, they were still denied true equality and respect, giving rise to the Women's March and the ongoing fight for gender equity. For many women, the anger they felt was a culmination of years of powerlessness and oppression in the face of systemic sexism and racism. When President Trump was elected, they saw it as a reflection of some of the worst aspects of American society. Trump's sexist comments and history of derogatory remarks towards women laid bare the ugly truth that even someone with such views could ascend to the highest position in the land. Furthermore, Trump's victory over Hillary Clinton, a woman who had climbed the political ranks and nearly became the first female president, revealed the stark reality that despite playing by the rules of a patriarchal world, the gulf between men and women's opportunities remained vast. Simultaneously, as the hashtag MeToo movement emerged, stories of sexual harassment and assault from Hollywood's most successful and influential women added fuel to the fire, demonstrating that even women who reached the pinnacle of their careers were vulnerable to the abusive behaviors of powerful men. Both the election of Trump and the onset of the hashtag MeToo movement brought to light that no woman, no matter her achievements, could truly win in a game rigged against them. For years, women had tried to protest politely, adhere to society's expectations, or just play by the rules set by the patriarchy, only to find that the reward for their efforts was a president who openly disrespected them and a world that continued to cover up the predatory behaviors of influential men. Unable to repress their anger any longer, women erupted in a show of force, propelling the historic women's march and perpetuating the hashtag MeToo movement as they demanded change, accountability, and justice. This wave of feminist political anger now ripples through society, reflecting the collective realization that the time for polite protest has ended and the battle for true equality has only just begun. In conclusion, Good and Mad, The Revolutionary Power of Women's Anger, brings to light the multifaceted journey of feminist political anger, highlighting the importance of this emotion as a driver for change. Rebecca Traster's work examines how the suppression of women's anger has stifled their political power and exacerbated societal injustices. The 2017 events, including the Trump presidency and the hashtag MeToo movement, provided the catalyst for the resurgence of this potent emotion, showing that the battle for gender equality is far from over. By understanding the historical context and ongoing challenges, Readers gain a comprehensive view of the inherent power when women express their anger and pave the way for greater change, 